Lucy Spragan found fame on The X Factor back in 2012 when she became the first contestant to perform her own songs before leaving the show unexpectedly. In recent weeks, Lucy has set the record straight about the real reason behind her departure in her new book, Process, where she reveals that she was the victim of a sexual assault. Um, Lucy joins us this morning. Um, Lucy, it's an incredibly powerful, emotional, tear-jerking read. And I know after all these years, you feel like you're in a point in your life where you want to tell your story and you're also strong enough to do so. Um, and if, if you may, because you, you disappeared from the show after three live shows doing so incredibly well, but us as an audience were told oh, it was due to illness. And of course it wasn't. No, yeah, so um, after the third week of the live shows, um, I was, Rylan and I, who's my friend from the show, we were moved to a different hotel. And in that hotel, um, a hotel porter let himself into my hotel room and sexually assaulted me. Um, the, there's a high risk of HIV when anything like that happens. And I was presented with the choice to carry on with the show or to take uh, PEP, which is an antiviral drug that stops you from contracting HIV. So yes, that did make me very unwell, but it wasn't the reason why I left the show. No. And to go back to that horrendous night, and you mentioned Rylan, and I'm, I'm going to mention him again because he's played a crucial part of this story and on that very night. I'm learning more and more. Since I've released the book, I'm actually learning more and more about the, the realities of what happened and people are telling me new bits of information here and there. Rylan was incredible. He was the first person I told. He, he organised everything. He contacted the police. He was amazing. And, and very recently, earlier this week, I found out that he literally went and guarded the room so that nobody could you know, change the room so that evidence would stay where it was. Like, I only learnt this week that Rylan was an absolute pivotal part of, of there being a conviction. And, and they, yes, conviction and evidence, and because the door had been left unlocked, hadn't it, by this Yeah, so I, I'd been drunk and out at a party and the hotel porter had assisted to take me upstairs with one of the runners and... Um, He'd, he'd, on the way out, had left the door on its latch. So when Rylan came back from his night out on his own birthday party and he'd been drinking himself, he just wanted to check on me and came to push my door. My door was open. So by Rylan closing that door, the man that let himself into my room had to do it with the traceable key card. So, yeah, Rylan's, he's an amazing man. Yeah, very much so. And because of all of those sort of um, events, this man did plead guilty, yes. which thankfully saved you having to, to go to court and be part of the trial. And it was just a, a tiny chink of light in this incredibly dark episode for you, Lucy. What, what were um, events like after that, just in terms of where your head was at and what the future was looking like, how you felt, how you were looked after? Well, I was completely abandoned by the production companies behind The X Factor. Um, after the live, final live show, which was, I think it was the 12th of December, 2012, I was left. I wasn't offered any support. Um, I was put up in a, an apartment until that day of the final and I was given a security guard and that was it. Um, I was hugely let down. Mm -hmm. I've only recently learned that, you know, I chose to, I have a legal right to anonymity as a victim of serious sexual assault and that's something that I've relinquished now in order to tell this story. And I've learned recently that, you know, newspapers tried to take me to court to relinquish my right before I had the right to do that. The newspapers were actively trying to name me in the press. Um, there, was a, there was so many failings. Uh -huh. um, and lots of battles that you felt you had to take on which were unnecessary yeah. and, and indeed very traumatic. Um, we, we talk about the production companies, but it was it, Simon Cowell did make contact with you and actually made it a huge difference to you in that point. Well, when I started writing Process, and this book is about more than a sexual assault, this book is about my life. I'm sober, I've been sober for four years. Um, it's about how you can turn things around and it's about so much more, but yeah, there's a chapter in, in there called, sorry seems to be the hardest word, mm -hmm. which is because even still, even now, um, 
two thirds, you know, I've had an apology from Psycho, which I'll explain, and, and I've had an apology for Fremantle, but I still haven't had an apology from ITV. Um, there's a, the, the chapter, sorry, seems to be the hardest word is where um, I, was, I sent an email to each of those companies to say I'm writing a memoir. Um, and I had a few questions and somebody from Simon's entourage called and said, do you mind if Simon calls you? And I thought, yeah, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. And when he called me, he actually apologised. He was the first person to apologise. And I thought I was going to go into this super angry and... Yeah. Because he I, wasn't actually on the show that wasn't. year, wasn't he? That was the year he was off doing America's He was on Got America's Talent, Got Talent, Talent, so I'd never even met him. Yeah. But he called me and he said, Luce, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been thinking about you. I should have apologised before. And honestly, that just made things so much better for me. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. And, and you, you talk about uh, that this being obviously a horrendous chapter in your life, but it is a chapter and the book is full of many other parts of your life. And you talk about sobriety, Lucy, and, and, and four years sober. I mean, your life is really done a complete and utter like 180 it's incredible and I know fitness is a massive part of just keeping you feeling good yeah and it is it's, it, this book is there were times in there you know where things didn't look like they were going to be positive at all mm. and uh, I attempted to take my life in 2014 and the book undeniably has a lot of sad points but when I got sober and when I started trying to sort of like realize who I really was that's when things really just like blossomed and, yeah. and... There was clarity for the first yeah, time. Yes, so much there? clarity. And I, I love my life now. Mm -hmm. Well, there's new music, there's a new tour, there's all these incredibly wonderful, positive things. You, I'm guessing you're feeling you're, you're back where you kind of always wanted to be. But this is very much a new chapter. And we talk about new music. You've got a new album out next month. It's called Balance. It's all about strength, empowerment. I guess you drew a lot of points and feelings from the book because you kind of wrote them side by side, didn't you? Yeah, they, they really intersect, like, all of my music. This is my seventh album. Mm -hmm. I have no idea where the time went, but it, they <laughs> intersect very much. And, and this record is about, yeah, like you say, observing strength and, re and being reflective. Yeah, and a big tour um, next year, kicking off in May. And I know that's, that's your real passion, isn't it, Lucy? I mean, touring is actually where your heart is. Yeah, first and foremost, I'm a musician. And, and this book is about being a musician. It's about who I am and where I'm going. And, mm -hmm. and music, I love music. I don't know where I'd be without music. It's, it's my favorite thing in the world and, and it's a real privilege to have had a career this whole time. And despite the, the bad things that have happened, I love it. I love mm. what I do. Mm. And th this platform for me, I want to be here talking about how we can improve yeah. things for other musicians, other reality TV contestants and people that work in TV and music. I really do want to come here and tell my story to be positive. Absolutely, because there are a lot of people watching wanting to get involved in various kind of reality shows and it's all through rose tinted glasses, isn't it? Because it's, it's never quite the truth. It's much more difficult than people think. Um, you talk about responses and being in touch with, with the companies that you've mentioned, Lucy, and certainly we have spoken to ITV who came back to say we have the deepest compassion for Lucy and everything she has endured as a result of this horrific ordeal. We commend her resilience and bravery. We have evolved and improved these oversight procedures since the events in question and we are encouraged to hear that Thames recognises the importance of continuous review and improvement of their own processes. We continue to evolve our own duty of care processes on programmes we produce to ensure there are appropriate measures in place to support contributors before, during and more importantly after filming. Fremantle has also said, since then we have done our very best to learn lessons from these events and improve our aftercare processes. Um, I would assume you should be on a panel somewhere at some point. That's Lucy, what I'd with... love. And I'd, you know, I've had these responses through The Guardian, I've had this response through ITV and in the corporate, it's corporate messaging. Mm. Nobody's come to me so far and mm. shook my hand and said, how can we change? And, and that's what I want. I want to be a change maker. Like, I, I will. Yeah. I will anyone well, to come and say, how can we change? You're certainly in the perfect position to do so, Lucy, having lived through everything that you have. Um, the book is, it's really beautiful, very, very honest. It's called Process, Finding My Way Through. Um, and it's out next month. 
It's out now. It's out now. It's out, out right, right now. Oh, no, it's the album. album the album's out on the 11th Book of August. It's out now. <laughs> it's really great. Thank you so much, Thank Lucy, you. for being so honest. I can imagine. I know you're in such a place now to be able to talk about it with, with strength, but it can never be easy either. So I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, if you've been affected by anything that we've just talked about, we do have um, helplines on our website.